could get it, like, fully up that. I think we got it up a little bit. Six metres? Six metres. Is that, that trump one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, six metres. Uh, is that what it was allowed? No, no, that's all it was. It went from white shop. They rushed it in. Hello, good morning, come on, get on and share to Facebook, please, fam, come on. Come on, there's no risk for those who, uh, who were on the job. Obviously, I got stabbed two weeks ago, still recovering, and I'm here at Huddersfield today. Um, there's uh, 31 scumbag nonces up in Magistrates today. Um got like little counter protest justice no not racism no to the edl and, and who the fuck said it's a fuck said it's an edl march for a start um but yeah a couple of the scumbags have been in already covered up plenty of police presence come on fam get sure in facebook please Uh, and we're having them, we're shouting at them when they're going in, simple as. Know, if any at fucking do. lefties want to say out, they can do. As far as I'm concerned, they're just protecting nonces as well. And if they vote Labour Party, they're all fucking part of it. <laughs> fucking scumbags, honestly. I should be recuperating me. Um, in Leeds and we've got uh, some fancy apartments um, paid out but I'm here in Huddersfield I'm fucking fucked off with the um, Labour Council what's going on all grooming and uh, everyone's calling us racist for standing up to it well they can fuck right off honestly swearing today guys get sure in thank you uh, I'm live at Kirtley's Magistrates um, what do we know? Uh, political correctness has caused a lot of this. If there were no political correctness, we won't be in this kind of condition. Um, Labour Party, cover-ups, threatening them, um, in intimidating victims and all that lot. Who the fuck did you think they are? Um, if we had some proper justice, they'd all be fuck have broken legs and all that, but we're doing it the right way. We want them in court. We want them charged. We want inquiries done. Labour love blocking inquiries, that's what they love doing, so that nobody finds out the truth of the political correctness shit that's going on. Um, that's what they love, and that's what's happened in a lot of these cases. I'm not interested in fucking religion or race, sorry, 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 love, sorry, sorry. Not, not interested in uh, religion or race or anything, it's that political correctness crap. Labour Party failed values. Um, of integration and immigration and all that lot's caused all this. Um, as you know, farmer got stabbed two weeks ago in, in Manchester off a group of ethnic minority scumbags. Two 15-year-olds and a 17-year-old have been arrested at the moment, found with drugs and weapons on them as well. That's in Piccadilly. And I was just on a night out, just having a few beers, you know what I mean? This is what it's come down to. And the Labour, they just, they just love it. Thank you guys. What's on those signs? Justice, not racism, nor to the EDL. Um, who, who, who do you think's EDL here? I don't know. Um, I'm just uh, from Oldham, me, and I'm in the vicinity. I've come round today because I know what's going on. Um, I'm with uh, my lovely Arlene there. No problem, Chris. No problem, brother. Respect to you as well for that mission you did at the weekend. Um, anyway, um, I don't know how many have gone in. I don't know how long they're going to be in. Um, I'm six or seven gone in. Uh, we're supposed to be going over uh, Leeds in a bit to um, see about Melanie's case, Melanie Shaw's case. She's up for mention today, she doesn't have to appear at court and it'll be sometime after half ten, so I'm guessing maybe eleven o'clock-ish. 
Charles Spencer's there and a few others, but I think a couple of us will be heading over there and uh, we'll do some reporting and let you know off Charles what's going on um, in Melanie's case. So two birds with one stone today and both linked to child abuse that's been covered up one way or another, political correctness or, or, or higher. So we'll see, get sure in fam. Scumbags in Kirtley's magistrates today, there's 31 of them in. We know the ethnicity, um, we know a lot of details about them, but we'll see what happens today. If they're in magistrates, I don't think they've pleaded yet. I don't know if it's plea day today or not, uh, I'll try and find out. Um, but we'll see what's going on. Yeah, it's plea day. Yeah, I've just been told it's plea day, so um, they'll probably all go not guilty like they normally do. What you bringing up? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, it's alright. We're staying in um, Quebec's luxury apartments in Leeds. Uh, a few days, mate's paid for it. Are you down now? You down the middle of the uh, uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Should have come from someone over here. I wanted to go on 15 to the DFLA, but I don't think I'm going to make it. But there's a, a load of other lads from. Oh, there's loads. Yeah, there's loads from London coming down as well. I hope, I'm hoping the tent should be massive. Someone deserves it. It does, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And there's a big in London that's supporting for next month. Is that a DFLA? DFLA one? one in London. And then Tommy's tried, is it the 27th? It's the 27th of Tommy. Tommy's Get him up again. So not only have we got grooming guns, we've now got two. Get him and on, on, until that one lad turned up, they're all whiteys there. And there's more colour on our side, I can tell you, with my Jamaican ethnicity. Oh my God, honestly, you just can't make it up, guys, you can't. And he's got his Palestine jumper on. It is, isn't it? I don't think these muckers have got a clue what I'm about. They haven't. Uh, so, fam, I'm at Kirtley's Magistrates Court. We know the stats, we know the figures. Um, we know that... Um, up to 100 towns, mainly Labour dominated, have had this kind of problem in the towns and they've done nothing about it. They've not addressed the problem at any level, whether it be uh, uh, race, ethnicity, religion, um, uh, social issues, um, I integration issues. They have not addressed anything. They've just left it uh, like a mixing pot going um, off and they've done nothing. And this is what it's come down to. Us outside court screaming nonce at them, scumbags going in um, and getting called racist by whatever breed of smellies who were there. Not guilty then! Um, so yeah, they've not addressed anything. They don't address anything, Labour. They just throw everything in, in a mixing pot and just pray that it goes okay. It's not going okay. Uh, these issues was uh, highlighted years ago. Um, Tommy's highlighted these issues. Uh, some hard right wing parties have highlighted these issues and no one's done nothing. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't got anyone from Seek Awareness here, society here today. Um, um, they're well on board, they know what's going on. They know the problems, and the, the, the same again, they've been trying to set these things for years and no one's listening to us. And now it's come that we're outside of court shouting at them when they're going in. <laughs> what we, oh, I'll try, I'll try. I'll try and have a chat, I will, I'll try. 
I'm not really in that kind of mood today, actually. So. Here we go. Another. Yeah, about this afternoon. I won't have this on there. <laughs> Okay, don't don't go up to it, fellas. Yeah. Scum, 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 scum. Um, so, so fam, uh, I've just been talking there. I haven't mentioned anything about, really, about race or religion. I've been um, pointing out the failed policies of the Labour Party and their attitudes towards immigration and that, um, which no one addresses, no one says nothing. And um, we're just sick of it. And this is what it's come down to. This is, this is what it's come down to. We have to do this because of it. We won't be in this position if um, political correctness and the values have been sorted out when the, the uh, at the beginning 20 years ago won't, we just won't be in this position um so oh, scum <laughs> oh i'll just have to walk away fam i can't i just it's hard work honestly you don't know i, I just want to kick off me but obviously it, it's not the right thing to do here um so I'll just uh, walk away, have uh, five minutes, probably have a fag or summer. Um, but yeah, get sharing fam, get some comments up. We're at um, Kurt Lee's Magistrates today, Young Adam's here, loyal as ever. Um, plenty of patriots and we're having them scumbags when they're coming in. We said we'd do this and we're doing it. There's 31 in today and we're outside the courts. Um, Carrying on from what Tommy does. Tommy's, Tommy's off the books at the radar at the moment, but we can do this. I can do it. Um, I'm not a racist. I haven't said anything about religion today. Um, and only a little bit about race. Uh, it, that's not the issue with me. The issue is a failed policies of the Labour Party. Political correctness that's a... a it, political correctness, it's a cancer. And it, it's born in the Labour Party in the roots and it, it's throughout the party. And um, it's causing major problems with uh, major social problems between different ethnicities and um, in, in the country. And it needs stamping out and it needs sorting out. At the moment, on the on the unwashed side, we've got like one person who's brown, and until he came, they were all whiteies. Oh, I think there might have been an half in, but um, I've got more colour than all of them put together. I'm sorry, I have. Um, it's just winding me up that nothing's done. Nothing's. Uh, they've not addressed any of the social issues or anything um, to do with um, immigration or anything, Labour Party. We, we know this. I'm not going to admit... We, I'll, I can go on about religion all day long. It's not my forte. There's plenty of others who will do that. But, um... Morning. Hello, Hiya, you all right? Nice to see you. Well, you know, right after that episode that you had. Uh, I am. Well, I'm recovering. We're at staying at Le Quebec's luxury apartments in Leeds. Our friends paid for us, but like this is on today, and I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be here. I can't believe that lot there. I know, honestly. How much are they getting paid? Um, All right, thank you, sir. Watch all your videos. Oh, thanks, thanks, yeah. man, thanks.
Tomorrow, then. Uh, I don't know yet. Um, probably. I'm, I'm, we're not. Well, we're not doing anything, but we're not supposed to be really out actually. Friends of ours have paid for us to stay in the lead and come back and push it back. You know, to take it easy and rest up. And I knew this would be for I know she'll be annoyed that I'm here. She's supposed to be just chilling out having a month off. Um, but we want to go back up to Leeds today and, and do a bit of reporting on Melanie Shaw because she's up for mention today. Yeah. She don't have to be in court, but they'll say stuff in court, so there's some there now. Um, I want to do an hour here and then get up to the, you know, do a bit more there. Do you want to have a quick chat with this pal? Tell us why you're here. Of course I will, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm here because of the grooming gangs. And I'm not going to go on about race or religion or anything. I'm going to go on about the Labour Party, political correctness. The, the integration values and all that. It's failed us and it's come to this point. For years they've covered up. Um, all this abuse, the, the block inquiries, so no one knows what's going on. Telford earlier on in the year, uh, up to a thousand girls, and they, they blocked the initial inquiry. Why would they block that? We want to know, we want to try and sort these issues out. We want to know what's going on, we want to see if we can sort it out some way or another, you know what I mean? But so blocking inquiries isn't going to help. So I'm just. It's not the race that, that, that people have got in common, is it? It's the religion. Do you think that, that the, the hatred that they've got um, is embedded in that religion, possibly? Um, well, I'm not an expert, but the evidence all points to that, doesn't it? It what certainly you does. That, yeah. Just watch the camera there. Uh, them scumbags, uh, I can't believe it, man, honestly. Um, they're here protesting every time, but they'll all vote Labour. So they've all failed us with all them social values. They've not looked at the social issues or anything. Blocking inquiries, there's much to blame as far as I'm concerned. Um, and it just fucks me off and it just, it just makes me angry. We wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for political correctness and that scumbag Labour Party. We wouldn't. No worries, no worries, pal. Have you got a light on? Uh, I have somewhere, I'm just bolt rolling another one for missus. I've got some spliffs in it. <laughs> For the cake, we said. Yeah, I'm going to cut a month ago, but it was a shabby, it was a friend of it. That much oil. I'm just sitting down the beach and sitting on the sitting house. Tarot stone on the beach, just going in the middle.
I am Candy, I'm feeling a lot better. They did used to mean something, no more though. I'm staying in Leeds at the moment, got a few days in uh, some luxury apartments, so we'll uh, go around the city uh, in the evening, just chilling out. Um, I'm off up to Middlesbrough on Saturday, so we're going to Stockton, on Friday, staying over, Middlesbrough Saturday, back to Stockton and then back to Manchester and then I'm having three week break in um, Scotland at the lovely Arlene's. Just going to recuperate me, get my weight back. Yeah, it's a protest outside court, um, Al Alistair. I will do, honestly I will do, I will do. Yeah, Adam here. Him and two lads were stopped in Manchester as we know, but still come out today. Still come out today. So what's the excuse? Get your bums off your couches. He got stabbed. Who won it last week? Uh, two weeks ago, two, yeah. Two weeks ago he was stabbed. And it still comes out today to help us and protest against these dirty nonsense. Honestly, I, I have to. It's, 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 it, I've got to. We all need to be here. Anything? Yes, it's going on now. We need to be outside. As a unit, we keep sharing. Everyone keeps sharing. Denise Gummersell says hi, John. Oh, hiya, Denise. Uh -huh. Get sure, in fam. I'll be live on Middlesbrough on Facebook when we wear my bands up. Unless it'd ban me again. Uh, I'm on YouTube at the moment. Um, I'll flick this up later on on Facebook anyway. Um, about 20, maybe two dozen uh, anti protesters. Again, fam, I'm, I'm not going to go on about religion, me. I, I, I could do, but I'm not an expert. There's plenty more people expert than me. I'll go on about the labour values, the failed policies, and political correctness, which is all just as much a threat to us as Islam is. Um, political correctness is a, it's an ideology itself. We might do, um, I know, I know it is grim, 
Um, but we're, we're going to Stockton anyway. Um, but we're, we're, we're around the North East for a couple of days anyway. Then back to Manchester and then train up to Edinburgh. I just feel that, I mean, Huddersfield's only a few miles away from Manchester. I just feel the need to be here um, and, and to set my peace. You know what I mean? We, we wouldn't be in. Oh, another one here, Adam. We wouldn't have to be. We wouldn't be in this position. Uh, one guy's a bit irate there, but honestly, honestly, fam, I can't. If I weren't filming, I'd be fucking. Oh, I'd be irate as well. Um, I'll try. I'm trying not to swear, but I'm. I'm. I'm angry. I'm angry, man, that we've had to come to this um, uh, after what near 30 years. It, it just does me head in. I, I can we be. I, I'm not blaming everyone, but I'll blame everyone. How can we be so blind, ignorant? How can we be so following like the Labour Party do with this failed policies and the values and all that? Like, how can we let society go to like this? It, it just wrecks me head, honestly. Wrecks me head. Uh, right, um, tenth, uh, Melanie is third in on her court. And that court starts at 10.30. Uh, she's only up for a mention, so she doesn't have to appear herself. But um, Charles Spencer and there's a group already there, and they'll be going in, getting the info. If I can get back in time or not, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get Charles. Charles will come on to do a piece about her, I'm sure. Um, or Sharon Goddard will have uh, some info about what's relatively going on. But at the moment, I'm at Kurt Lee's court, and I couldn't not come. I, have to, I had to come here today. I had to. Um, it was imperative, and I'm only a few miles away, so I've no excuse really, no excuse. At all. I'm not in full 100% condition, but I'm still no excuse. Arlene's with me, so she's looking after me. Uh, we've had some breakfast and that. Uh, I've got some drinks for after. Um, I'll try and talk to the lefties if I can, but it's not my forte. I don't, I don't like talking to them because they just wind me up, man. They give you, no, they don't give you any kind of answer, and they just call you names and. Oof, under different circumstances, my fists would be out. Just um, five minutes, have a walk round. Um. I will, I will, Candy, I will. I know I would be any other kind of situation, I would be. I'm, I'm glad I've got my camera, actually. It makes me a bit more focused. Uh, but, yeah, we're at Kurt Leeds Magistrates Court. What, maybe a dozen of the scumbags have gone in already. Um, and they're up for plea today, I've been told. Uh, there is some, uh, lots of um, news here. It must be mainstream news. And one of the lads has said there's a Russian TV crew interviews and they seem all right so we'll might have a bit of a talk with them after we'll see what's going on anyway <laughs> Oh yeah. Do you know what? Another one there for it, you. It now. makes sense, yeah, but they don't they don't stick to it, do they? None of them stick to it. it, it it's all gone. <laughs>
How many balls, Jim? <laughs> Can I have my orange, darling, please? Orange. You want your orange? Yeah, please. Oh, yeah. I'm here with the lovely Arlene, looking after me. Um, I mean, she suffered from shock on the night, which lasted a couple of days, so just as worse off as we was. Um, 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 but uh, we've recovered. Um, friends in uh, Jeannie and Ian, no problem. Uh, friends, Jeannie and Ian have paid for us to stay in uh, luxury apartments for a few days and then we're off up to Scotland uh, and then I'm having three weeks up there to recuperate. So um, I'll be off the radar for a bit. Thank you, Winter, thank you. <coughs> Darling, will you open it for us? Yeah. Um, I'm surprised we haven't got anyone from the Seek Awareness Society here today. Um, I'd, I'd love to have an interview with one of the dudes from Seek Awareness Society. Thank you. Yeah. So fam, get sharing on to uh, Facebook. I'm at Kirtley's Magistrates Court. I've got 31 nonces up today and tomorrow for plea. Um, it'd be interesting to see what the pleas are. I, f I think we might find out on main uh, news later on, or local rags. Um, <laughs> I'm also going to pop up to Leeds and see about Melanie Shaw. She's... Um, up for mention today so hopefully i'll be able to get there as well if not we'll, we'll i'm sure charles spencer will will have something to say and i might do uh an hang out with him later on um but yeah there's 31 of them up today predominantly Pakistani heritage some of them are related as well um, yeah the scum of the earth and my issues is I'm not gonna go on about religion cuz I, I don't know the Quran my issues are political correctness and the Labour Party we know that the Labour Party have blocked inquiries we know that the Labour Party have um, failed on all levels through the social services and all the other kind of services they have in protecting our children they've done nothing um uh, victims have ended up being intimidated by, by the same people who who who, who um, abused them and um the councils and that have done nothing about it and um just absolutely peed off of it me All you who vote Labour, just think about who you're voting for. Ask your local councillor when he comes round, ask him then questions, why did he block inquiries? Ask him, why did they cover up all this abuse? Ask them if, if they come round, because I would, if I was a Labour, a Labour voter, but the average Labour voter are ignorant. Um, a, do a dozen, maybe, something like that. Um, yeah, so um, ask, ask them questions. Or any lefties seeing this video, um, answer the questions that I'm asking. Why? Why have you let political correctness rule?
Why have you covered up? Why have you blocked enquiries? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to put all the blame on the police. Uh, certain certain um, times and areas we can blame them, but uh, they're not the they're not the rulers of the towns. It's the councils, the the, the labour-dominated councils that have, have let all this go on. So um, the sign there, justice, not racism, nor to the EDL. Justice, what kind of justice? We don't get justice unless we hold inquiries to find out what the problems are. <coughs> and uh, Labour block inquiries. They, they don't push for these inquiries. So there's never, how can there be any justice if, if we don't have these kind of things, inquiries and that? And that is a... That is a I'm not being racist, sir. I'm just pointing out. And, and that's what they like. Justice, it, it just winds me up. I seen that sign at Wellington and I went mad. Pakistanis. What are they? No, they're not. Muslims are not oh, a race. We're not Pakistanis here to oppose. Say again. Pakistanis are a race, though, aren't they? Islam's not a race. That's, you said it yourself. Pakistanis are not a race. Uh, not, 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 not. Nicola, just they may, move they may this not way. They're trying to film these two young lasses behind you at the same time. Can you just pull around here? Yeah. So they're out of view. So you're here to oppose racism, yeah? Yeah. Only aggressive racism, you know. So why are these guys no, racist? Can you tell got, me what's racist about these We've got these no people? problem with um, you guys, you know, approaching, shouting at them and calling them names and everything, because they are the fucking scum, what they've done. They're the second grooming gang in Huddersfield to be doing this. Yeah. This has been going on and has been highlighted in our local press since 2007. That's a clear 10 years since the grooming scandal started. And it has, nothing's been done about it. 10 years. So although, yeah, it, they're dirty bastards, right? And if they have been touching our kids, because they're sitting in a court of law, aren't they? Mm. So we all know how that's meant to go. So if they have been grooming our kids and they have been abusing our kids, get to fucking jails. But if they have, we've got to look over that, why were they allowed to abuse our kids? Well, yeah. because people like you oppose anybody that speaks out against them. You say I'm Labour, right? I've been banned from the Labour Party for five years. Do you know what I mean? I'm not... It's establishment, it's, it's purely rotten. See these people over here that you're calling racist, to them. they're just concerned I've parents. I've spoken to them half of them, I say it this morning when you want here. Right. Yeah, so I know exactly what they're here for. What are they here for? They're here to protest. Uh, they're here to protest they're here to pro against grooming gangs. They're here gangs. to protest grooming gangs. They're but not here they to protest against... But they don't against... go to churches. I'm a Catholic also and I was... These kids in my school that got two years above me, boys, altar boys, because they don't go for altar girls, yeah? Going back 40, 50 years, we're, we're don't matter, don't matter, don't matter. Abuse is abuse, abuse is abuse, whatever year it was done in. Agreed? Yeah. And currently, this, this these abuse grooming gangs go back 40 years, 40 yeah. years. Are you from here? You don't know shit. You don't know shit. These grooming gangs have been going on. Day, it's going on there as exactly. well. Exactly. all Muslims that are doing it. It isn't. They're not Muslims here. All Muslims here. Proportionally, yes, they are. Majority Muslims, but some are Indian. Some are Indian. Not 99%. Not 99%. Every single man on trial here today is a Muslim. If there's 60 odd people, right, some of them are women, some of them are Indi Indian, some of them are African, a black guy in there. How can you have... You know, percent, that percentage when there's not even 100 people there. It doesn't make sense, mate. You don't yeah, got you your don't figures make right. Sense, you're, you're, you're basically I'm not. No, these, we're not. No, we're not. Like. And that's your rhetoric. I've just these told you, mate. You want to hear it Is this guy next to be a racist? 
I don't know. Do you, is he racist against uh, Muslims? Is he How racist, is he racist against, against Indians? Muslims? Like it's not a racist. Yeah. Oh, hold on, I'll tell you why I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Right? The grooming gangs, have been, it's been going on 40 years or yeah. something like that. <laughs> and when you look at uh, where it's been going on, it's mainly Labour dominated areas. We know, we, we know about political correctness. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's one of the big causes of this. Is we didn't have political correctness, and these people have been charged and stopped doing this in the first place. Yeah. Won't have to be here. So what that's do you mean my issue. Correctness overlooking, is that what you mean? Uh, yeah, because uh, of, of a certain race or ethnicity that, that's doing that the crime. Who overlooked that then? Eh? Who overlooked that? The Labour? No, well, it's the, the Labour dominated towns, it's the Labour Council that have been covering up. In Telford, the scandal that came out in Telford earlier on in the year, it's clearly documented that when they asked for a public inquiry, the Labour Party, no, we don't want one. Yeah. So how are we ever supposed to find out what's going on if we don't have in public inquiries? Yeah, so so Lucy Allen, the Conservative MP in that area, Telford at the time, uh, DFLA went down on a protest with UKIP and then she pushed for the inquiry to be done then. They, they had the inquiry done, yeah, but yeah. why did they block it in the first place? Well, if you look at the bigger child abuse inquiry, the whole, you know, the national child abuse inquiry where Theresa May uh, lost the dossier for the, cha the child abuse. About that. Listen, it We're goes that far that. back. We're it about goes. Gangs. I know, and I, and can I just I'm say, not even I, to I, I just said about, shit. we were just talking about political correctness yeah. then, and, and you was talking to, that's what I'm talking about yeah, right but, now. But you, you, if you define political correctness to me, then I'll let you know what, you, what I'll answer you. Political correctness. What do you mean? Not calling them pakis, pakis or no, 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 names, no, no. Or are you raping our white? No. You don't go around. Uh, no, no, Englishmen no. Englishmen don't go around white. Pol political correctness brought down simply is that you don't tell on someone because it's that's certain race political. or ethnicity. That's not political correctness. That's not political that broken down to me. That's, that's what it is. Even, that's not political correctness. You go look up the definition of political correctness. So how can you be dealing on that basis? No. Well, that we, everyone knows that political right. correctness is going Barry on. Sherman, yeah, he's been Barry Sherman. He's a Labour MP, like you say. You might have some truth in what you just said about the Labour uh, councils, you might be act actually correct. I have no idea, but I will go and have a look at that. But what has been what has been shown from the Telford, the Nottingham, the Rochdale and the Rotherham grooming gangs is that the council was complicit, whether it be a Labour government, whether it be... Uh, it's not, this is not part, this is not just Labour people abuse people. No, but this it's dominated. And I, I, never said, I never said all Labour, I said dominated. Dominated. But dominated. It doesn't matter which part. I know, I know, but I did you say know, dominated. Political, not into what's right and wrong. Stop making it a big issue like it's wrong what they've been doing, it's wrong, but they're not all Muslims, some of them are Indian. They're Indians. all Muslims. So it, it, they're not. Go oh, check it out. Today. I live round here, love. I know. Go and have a look. 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 So, what's the Islamic book? What's the Islamic slant on it then? It's just because of all they are. Because they've got a mandate we'll go anywhere. I spoke to you earlier, I've spoke I'll to them. Anywhere. I'm not saying, right, that I don't agree that you guys should come here to um, observe and to berate these guys who are accused, and girls, who are accused of no, doing been this charged to kids. For it. They have been accused, they've been charged for it. Well, been charged, charged yeah. but in a court of law, it's yeah. innocent until proven guilty. Now, whether you believe yeah, that, whether yeah. I believe yeah, that, yeah. it's nothing, is it? It's nothing. What it is, is diverse to pitch us both against each other. For you so to you say, say Labour. I've been banned from Labour Party, so you're wrong. So if I you don't all know, agree with what we say, why are you standing from? with us? Why are you standing with us? Because I can't. I can't. Honestly, what stand reason? with you. You're a human, fellow human being like me, but I can't stand with you because of your Islamophobic rhetoric. And I'm sorry. But what's Islamophobic about saying the truth, though? Yeah, but they're not all Muslims. 95% are. Yeah, but they're not all. So but, where is that come from? Can you point out a Sikh grooming gang? Can you point out an Indian grooming gang in this town? Yeah, this there's city? two of them in this yeah. town. town yeah. It's a town because I live here, yeah? Yeah. There's two in the, there's two in the first one. Yeah. There's two in the first one. Here we go, here's one now. Oh, guess what? Yes, he! Yes, he! So fam. Uh, you heard a, a few bits about what she said. I mean, she definitely knows. When I, the Labour Party and political correctness has, has caused most of this. She knows, she knows. Um, but then she come out with, I don't want to stand here with all you Islamophobes. I never even mentioned religion. I, I don't think I, 
mentioned uh, race or ethnicity. Um, that wasn't my issue. I, I pointed out to her the Labour Party and political correctness pointed out to her a few incidents of where they blocked inquiries and how we're supposed to find out what's going on if we don't have inquiries into it. That That's how we work. You know, that's how the, the law and the, the land works. So as far as I'm concerned, if a Labour Party block an inquiry, they're as guilty as the scumbags who were on trial. It's as simple as. And they don't want you to know the truth. Come on, fam, get sharing, get sharing, please. Oh, Arlene's on the go there. I know all them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as. You know, Newcastle, it's like a Absolutely. It's even an You're not going to get to the core of it until you realise how they were able to operate. I know, yeah, that's what inquiries, inquiries. I mentioned that Telford. They blocked the initial inquiry, the Labour Party. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, honestly. And you know, you know what we're here for today as well. You know, you know why we're in Leeds today. Do you know about Melanie Shaw? Of course, I know Melanie Shaw. Right. Well, we're here. We're here. Been, we've been reporting on her case as well, which leads to child abuse at a different kind of level. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? And we've got it all uncovered. She's from Nottingham. She's from Nottingham. Yeah, yeah, Nottinghamshire area. A guy called Joe Public, and I've been friends with him for years, and he's brought the attention of paedophilia. First of all, it was Nottingham Council. And I was like looking at my own council. I thought, hey, what's going on? Rochdale. And then the grooming gangs came in. And I thought, what the fuck's been going on? I, I believe, I believe, though, that, like, the uh, the left <laughs> Labour uh, are pushing for things like they, they, they want they want to okay, class the age of sex. yeah oh, they want they want yeah, a bri pedo stuff, pedo know. sexual as a sexual orientation oh yeah, oh, yeah. in which lbgt yeah right there's going to be a p on the end of it now as well i don't know if that was true I, I, uh, yeah. that got fact checked and i'm not sure if it was yeah. but these guys here right? they're all just people from Huddersfield, which you guys are not, no offense all right but we care about our town yeah, we, yeah no but, but, but rochdale our rochdale and all them have three girls i know but three you. Three Tommy girls. Robinson went outside this court last time, and we don't need Tommy Robinson. We can, we can uh, look at our own affairs. That's why I'm here. I mean, it's but not yeah, but we're not looking at our Tommy own affairs. Robinson. You said it's been going on for years. How come nothing's been done then? Yeah, quite. It's a, it's a slow burner, isn't it? did it not take Tommy but that's Robinson? That's not my fault. Not your fault. No, no, oh. I told you, examiner, come in. 2007 is the first time the examiner put a story out about child grooming gangs in Huddersfield. 2007, because a child. Go and have a look. They were a child, but to move out of Huddersfield because of violence from said grooming gang. Ten years down the line now, which was last year, and they all the first grooming gang got got um, dealt with in court. Ten years it took. Ten years it's from the day. Yeah, it's, it's just not good enough for me. Enough all, I think it's a lot to do with political correctness and common purpose training. I don't think, and I think down with both. Well, it really, as it's very much. I'm the most. You know, I'll say it as it is wrong. Yeah. You know, I say it to politicians, I say it to a very shaman. You know, I talk straight talk, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm saying. Uh, people think I'm arrogant, people think I'm uh, aggressive, and I'm not, I'm absolutely you get more, not. You'll get more straight talk and then this fella well, here as well. You know, know what I mean? We, are, we all want yeah. the same thing. Yeah. We all want it to be addressed. Well, like if it is a Muslim problem, problem, if it is a Muslim problem, let's identify it's a Muslim problem. Yeah. If, uh, yeah, but well, they, they, they won't. They, I, they, I, I, I never mentioned. I never mentioned me race or ethnicity. I'm, if you see, I'm attacking the Labour Party and their values and that. But they're not looking. They're not looking at them social issues, which is which could come into religion, ethnicity. They're not even looking at them. Yeah, I know they're not. It's not our fault. We are just the casualties of this device. Crap. That's been going on. We never abuse kids, yeah? We never abused them. But we're here in the same capacity, really. Making sure justice is fucking done. You know what I mean? And that's it. Without, you know, bullshit names being called. You know what I mean? Call them scum, call them what you like, call them whatever. Uh, but that rhetoric of, you know, it's just Islam and it's just uh, Muslims that do it is not true. It's oh, not no, true. no. <laughs> I mean, it's been happening for time. I mean, I. 
learned about Jimmy Savile when I was nine years old. I'm 47 now. You know. We all knew Jimmy Savile were enough, yeah. right? I said he was a bad man. And he looked, I was nine and I got skeleton put to bed. I nearly, I nearly wrote to him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. No, don't let him fix anything. No, <laughs> Just yeah. needs it. Yeah. You're right, Paula. Yes, they are. <laughs> Five minutes. Oh, my ears are popping at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but that woman then, oh, I'm, I'm here because of Islamophobia. I never even mentioned race or religion then, me. Never, I, I, and I pointed out to her, I attacked the Labour Party and their values, that's what I said to her. But they always have to bring that race thing into it, you all heard it then, you always got to bring it in. It, it's, uh, it's fucked up man, honestly, <laughs> it's just so fucked up. And just, um, it's just madness, it's just madness how it goes. So guys, I'm at um, Kurt Lee's Magistrates Court today and there's um, 31, today and tomorrow they're up for plea, there's 31 scumbag, mainly Pakistani Muslims up and um, we're not having it, we're here shouting against them. I'm going to try and get over to Leeds to um, chat with Charles about Melanie if I can. Um, but if not, I'll try and do something later on about Melanie um, and we'll see what's going on there. But I felt it important today that I come here. I did really feel it important today I come here. Um, obviously, there's been a few here before. We've had Tommy, Seek Awareness Society have been here. There's been a few demos here. But um, while he's out of action, we can carry on um, doing that. And I have no problem with it, me. We're not causing anyone any harm. We're not. Um, we're not. Um, we're not attacking anybody. Uh, we are even talking to the anti-protest as well. A couple of them. Um, and um, thank you, Candy. Um, so yeah, Kurt Lee's magistrates were here today. Might have to, might have to pause or, or um, cut off for 20 minutes. I need to just have a walk, chill, maybe a fag or something. Um, we've got some other news channels here. Uh, apparently, there's a Russian news channel doing interviews. Um, I'll probably have a talk with them uh, if I can. Young Adams. Uh, He's on live at the moment. One of our rising stars of the right wing. Crazy, a Muslim woman gone past, but hiding in her face. What does she have to hide her face for? Thank you fam, 20 watching. We're at Kirtley's Magistrates Court today. There's uh, 31 nonces up and they're up for plea today. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they've all pleaded. Uh, I'm sure that that will be allowed to be in the uh, news or mainstream media um, today. So uh, you'll have to keep an eye on the Leeds or Huddersfield papers for that. Um, 
I did feel it, uh, I didn't have to come today, but I felt it important that I did um, um, a couple of things. Obviously, Tommy's been out of action for a month or so, and I've said this before, Tommy started it off, but we can continue doing it. Adam's here, and he, he'll continue to do this, this stuff. And, and we'll continue to highlight, we'll continue to try and report on what whatever we can. You'll, you'll see us doing it as much as we can in, in whatever areas. I'll have a look at them later on. Um, so yeah, I felt it important. I'm supposed to be recuperating me, no reporting, but I, I just felt I needed to. Staying at Leeds at the moment, so I'm gonna head up to the court there, see if we can find Charles Spencer, have a chat with him. Um, by what's happening with Melanie. <laughs> Getting the lovely Arlene over, stop talking. Is it a close court? Oh, I'm not sure. I think uh, this one will be, yeah. Melanie's isn't. It's public. Interesting talk there. But you know, like like a, she, she, she mentioned Islamophobe, and I, I never even mentioned race or religion. I, I, I said to her, didn't I? I tap the Labour Party, the values, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. political correctness. What annoyed me when she says you're not all saying stuff about the right break gangs, and I said because we don't have to, because mainstream news will report on that, but it doesn't report on the other. No, you yeah, know? exactly, honestly, that's so, Arlene telling you. The mainstream news will report on white people any day of the week, but they won't report on the Muslims. So, you know, what's good for the goose? Isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, Quit recording for a bit, guys. Thank you for listening. Um, oh, hi, Jillian. Um, oh, yeah, she just oh, heard you say that. Um, Tell her we'll see you on Friday. <laughs> so do we, Mandy. So do we. Um, there's hardly any charges left now, so uh, hopefully will be uh, she'll get some help if if she gets out or whatever but i think there's a the big inquiry in october is ongoing and she's supposed to be witness in that as well so i don't know what's going to happen anyway i'm i'm quitting for now fam and i'll check back with you in a bit